Good morning. This is Savage Stacker. Cheers, Sal. You know I need another one. Cheers. Top of the morning to you. All right. Good morning. It is a Savage Stacker. So... The other day I got an email, I get this uh, monthly newsletter from allinglehard.com and this uh, last month's um, newsletter was about Cascade refining and uh, talking about how rare these bars are and uh, I guess people have been asking because uh, they've been seeing them on eBay and things like that and uh, so they did some... Uh, extensive digging to find out how rare these bars are and to come to find out they're pretty rare so uh when i read that uh, newsletter i had seen this bar on ebay and i was wondering about it and so once it was on there i looked it up on allanglehard.com and i found the exact serial number um on there and there's only 1,500 minted in the 10 ounce class. So um, they have a 25 ounce class and they have a 100 ounce class, a seven ounce and a three ounce class for these. And in total, they've only made 4,500 ounces of ingots. So I decided to pick it up and uh, it cost me a pretty penny and um, this is my first, uh, not my first vintage bar, but it's my first, this is me tiptoeing, getting my feet wet in the expensive realm of uh, expensive, um, low mintage, uh, rare uh, ingots. So this is a Cascade Refining, 10 ounce class, 10.62 ounce, 999 fine silver ingot. And yes, it's kind of weird. This is actually the bottom. That's where they pour it at. This would be the top of the, you know, they dump it out, stamp it. This one's really cool because it's like overlapping. They ran out of room because they're trying to get around this thing. And another thing about this is uh, 12, 1880. This is actually the, year, the, the day that it was made is the serial number. There are some other bars they have that they, uh, they haven't figured out what the serial numbers mean because it's like the same except for like a weird year at the end like 25 um but but these are these are these are pretty rare these are uh under 1500 minted so now i'm finally in the under 2000 club mintage club so this kind of got my feet wet, and now the next thing I'm going to do is try to find me one of them uh, rare Silvertown bars poured by Inglehard, starting with a P number, and they get pricey. That's the next thing I kind of want to get, and then uh, then I'll start diving into like Bunker Bullion and um, WH Foster and things like that, the older Inglehards, which are kind of hard to find, really hard to find at a good price. Sorry about that. Um, I'm having to splice this video together because my uh, tripod is taking a dump on me. My little film came off and now my phone keeps sliding out of it. Okay, so basically uh, this is just me trying to get my feet wet and getting some uh, um, more rare vintage ingots. And uh, I really like it. It's, it's a really nice bar. It does have this weird little thing on it right here. And uh, I kind of like it, it adds character. You know, that's the beginning of, I believe the beginning of the pour when they poured it in the, uh, cast it in the, uh, the mold. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So this was uh, December 18th, 1980 is when that was um, made. It's actually really close to my birthday. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. So uh, I can't find any more of these on eBay. Uh, they're hard to find right now. And I believe after all, Hard put that uh, newsletter out about these. I think people were buying them up. So you don't see them anymore in the last couple weeks. So 
that is cool because if you can't find them, that means they're just gonna go up in value. And uh, I didn't really buy this to flip right away, but I did buy it because I could flip it later on. And who knows, maybe my kids will be the ones that get to flip it one day. I just, I'm gonna have to put a sticker on it or something that says don't sell for silver value. It has more value than that. All right, you guys. Um, real quick here, I got something else in the mail yesterday. It's nothing too exciting. Um, I was gonna send it in for grading, but there's so many of them out there already being graded that it's pointless. So, uh, so I bought one of these things after the price went up on uh, and for their silver stuff on uh, on United States Mint's website. So it's nothing too impressive, but I had to get it because it's the last one of the inaugural year of the Eagle. So, and when I opened it, I'm like, dude, I should have sent that in for grading because it's like perfect. <laughs> so there it is right there. The, come on, focus, 2020, San Francisco Mint. Oh, let's take it out. <sighs> Be careful, this thing's shiny. San Francisco Mint Proof Eagle. And uh, I don't have a regular proof. I have a couple other different, like, enhanced proofs and stuff. Um, but my new thing is going to try to collect all the, all the different eagles. And eventually I'll get to it. Uh, there is a the 2013 uh, enhanced uncirculated... I really want that one. That is a really nice coin. But yeah, this is um, this has been buying kind of dumb stuff <laughs> lately. But I got this because I have I already have the uh, West Point one, and um, and I've been buying up everything 2020 because it's such a significant year. So, but I think the very first proof of next year is a 2021. I think that's the one that's probably going to be worth a little bit of money. And of course, I'm going to be going for the V75. I don't know if I'll get one, but I'm sure going to try. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, there's that right there. Got that in yesterday. Um, pretty cool. Nothing too exciting about that. This is the star of the show. This is the stuff right here really gets me excited. Is vintage silver. And I used to see a lot more of it before uh, March before all this craziness happened, these things should be stuff like this has been sitting in the case and I'll just glance over it and not even get it. And now I'm into it. I never see it. <laughs> it drives me crazy. All right. Thank you guys for coming by. Cascade Refining. Pretty cool. 10 ounce class bar. Um, all right. This is Savage Stacker. Please hit the bell icon so you can get updated on my latest videos. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. The Savage Stacker is going to have some more coffee. Over and out.